Hello, welcome back to my channel S server tutorial. In this uh, step, we are going to configure our network in our channel S server. So let's start and begin and uh, to check out where we are going to do in this step. So this is my uh, basic diagram in this uh, tutorial. So before we are going to configure, I just show you that uh, our this is a representative of our server, which is our current. Uh, send as server right now and this is our router uh, which is integrated with another services but we just don't care about it I just uh, what we care is in this server uh, in this router is contain this IP address and what we're going to uh, configure to our send as server is we configure this following information into our uh, send as Basically, after you install, I hope you're supposed to give all the information or you've been designed with your uh, system already for your planning. If you going to have that uh, uh, configuration, like before you implement the configuration, you must have a proper plan. Right? But this is just a very basic for our video tutorial. So. It has two parts in uh, Send OS 7 that we got uh, two measures to apply or to configure the IP address into our server. First one is we can do it by uh, GUI, it's, which means uh, you can configure it by uh, the interface and just following in. The, it's very easy, pretty easy uh, for the, the basic user. And another one is you can go to edit in the file configuration that uh, contain all the configuration and information in there I will show you so let's begin now with our first step is we're going to uh, configure with our GUI so I just log in okay after you logging in you can uh, uh, check how many interfaces you have by command nmcli which is will list all the entire connection and will show you the status as well so this is my current interface because in our server we have only one uh, connection and this is the name of our uh, uh, device and type is is net and our status is connect and another one is look back our look back is unmanaged so what we really focus is in this interface so let's go further with our uh, first step that we're going to configure with our uh, user I mean a user friendly interface which is uh, show you with the basically how can you uh, configure the IP address with a very basic uh, step which one first one is you need to tie an um, TUI then you will see now it will uh, coming up with the very uh, interesting now then you go to edit connection and this is the only interface that you have and this is what you saw you a while ago this is the name of your interface you can edit it as well to the make it easy to memorize so this is the uh, the place that you can rename your interface but i don't want to re uh, rename it because i have another thing another thing need to do is with the ip v4 so i gonna configure with our ip address go to manual based on our uh, lab that we have so let's go back to our lab so we will configure this is the ip address uh, remember that this is uh, equal to uh, 24 so what we need to do we need to add 24 to our uh, this is uh, uh, if you study you can check out with google it with the slash uh, and equal to 
the subnet bus something like that so just remember that so last 24 is uh, 255, 255, 0.255 and 0.0 and let's begin to add address our address is 192, 168, 100 and 100 slash 24 gateway 161, 192, 168, 100 plus 1 the next server we will uh, put our uh, default IP address of Google is 8.8.8 .8 .8 and our searching email is google.com so it will be automatically automatically connect when the system is start I just press ok and if you want to move uh, the selects from any option you need to type tab so I press tab 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 then I quit and Remember this after you change the configuration in the network you need to assure that you need to restart the servers first so I need to restart the uh, restart the server or you need to restart some service I will restart network service by using command service network restart so it's okay now can I check it by IP config so now you can see that uh, this is the IP address and the net mask is automatically uh, so us here about our net mask and broadcast this is our broadcast this is the first way and the very easy and we not require the higher uh, knowledge or of uh, scraping because another method is gonna be very hard a little bit hard and not very hard uh, so much so I just show you and you can check which one is the fastest way for you and you can go now so another uh, way is by go to etc sysconfig and go to network script then I will list it and here this is our interface so we need to edit it by use vi if cfg emo okay then I will enter this one so you can see the entire configuration here but the very uh, uh, important thing is you need to change if it's no on boot to yes divine name is this one and IP address must be correct prefix is our subnet mask and gateway and dns and domain this is the very very uh, important of configuration and also you go to the boot proto you need to tie it nonce so if you want to edit it you need to tie i which is uh, insert so that you can tie anything here i will enter this one okay and after you uh, fix the configuration to what you want already you need to if you want to save it you need to uh, type escape and plus uh, save and uh, this uh, this this symbol wq and this symbol it will be equal to save then it will be the same way if you want to do like that you need to uh, in the same way after you finish your configuration you need to restart your network service uh, this is another way and uh, it's up to you what do you want to configure your server with the first uh, method or the last method which one is uh, 
uh, easy for you you can uh, check by yourself um, thank you so much for your watching this video i hope you have uh, this video can help you with your uh, linux knowledge and please have to subscribe for more video update notification